down comes the wall. You go in, you attack the castle. It's super exciting. Having just a mass amount of units in PvP is really fun to play with, and also building really cool bases. The original Minecraft has been out for over a decade, so you know we wanted to have something that felt familiar and yet fresh. Delicate balance, but I think we managed quite well. So we wanted to try and create something that was relatively new. We didn't want to take just like the Minecraft IP and slap it on, your, on like a standard RTS. We wanted to really kind of create something that felt like a Minecraft strategy game as opposed to just like a strategy game with creepers in it. We definitely took some inspiration from some other games, but we were really trying to blaze a new trail as much as we could. The PvP is a bit of a remix of the story. It takes the kind of elements that you've learned through the campaign and allows you to kind of reuse them in different ways. The objective of the game is to destroy the other team's base. You have two different teams. You have a blue team and an orange team, and each team can have up to four players on it. As the game progresses, you can get stronger mobs and stronger structures to build. And these structures are interesting in that they create counterplay opportunities for your opponent. So say if two people are playing against each other and one person builds a new structure that increases their ability to command mobs, like they increases the size of their army, their opponent can now target that structure and destroy it in order to remove that buff from the opposing team. There's probably a ton of strategies out there that, that players are going to do that we're going to have no idea of like, oh yeah, we didn't even think about that. I think the PvP component of Legends enhances the game significantly with the you know, procedurally generated multiplayer maps that you get. It's like every playable experience is new and unique. We wanted to focus on a game that was less about everything being exactly fair all the time and kind of embracing more of a chaotic fun element to the game. You know, the campaign has this procedural world and Minecraft in general has a procedural world, so we wanted to lean into that. And in the PvP space, the resources are, you know, you have to fight for them. So if there's only one location where you can acquire diamonds, then in that particular session, that might be a hot spot for combat where the players are fighting over the diamonds because they want to get access to them. So the resource gathering in Minecraft Legends is driven entirely by uh, allays. So the player basically says, this area here, I want you to gather me all the wood in this place of the world, and then the allays fly off and gather them all block by block and drop them into the player's bank. Depending on what you want to build, they're a little bit more like they change the gameplay more as being sort of like a linear progression through them. So, you know, you might play a PvP game and you're like, you know what, in this game we're going to go diamond and iron because the structures that we can build with diamond and iron work well together and those are the ones we want to use with our mobs. Next game you might start in a world where you have really easy access to redstone and so you might pivot your strategy and go a redstone heavy strategy in that case. Throughout all of that, the piglins are still in PvP as well, so you need to watch out for other players, but you also definitely need to watch out for the piglins as well. You know, if you kind of ignore them, then they might uh, surprise you and attack at the wrong time. And we've had interesting games where players can kind of take advantage of the piglins' aggression and attack from the other side of the base. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting dynamic. There is so much space for creative expression and sort of going your own way. It's not just all about fighting. You can build your base, you can explore the world, you can battle the piglins, you can attack the other opponent. There's a lot of different things to do. And so I think that what we're going to see is a lot of players that enjoy different types of gameplay are going to find something for them in the PvP experience. So I think that's really exciting.